Okay, so in a lot of my videos, I tend to use uh, this effect, that pop effect, uh, along with the pop sound effect. And today I'm gonna show you how to do this. So basically I'm gonna start out with my, with my dark gray backer and um, I, I, I'm just going to load up the like, uh, the, the like uh, button, I guess, um, that I use in my videos in, uh, in the outro. You can see it there. So um, how to achieve this pop effect is actually pretty simple and yeah, it's using keyframes. So if you haven't worked with keyframes before, this will kind of be your first introduction and you can do some really cool stuff with keyframes. I use keyframes in a lot of my editing to do some cool zooming effects or, uh, or moving effects across the video. Uh, so I'd definitely go and check out some tutorials on how to use keyframes. I'll have one coming soon, so if you want to wait for that one, you can. Um, and we'll be using this uh, along with the pop, of pop sound effect. Um, I'm dragging all of this in from my common use bin. I have a video on it, links on the screen. Go and check that out if you want to know more. So basically, you can hear it. There it is, uh, and we just kind of want to uh, time uh, the like button to appear on the screen at the same time. So uh, the first step is to, um, I'm just going to drag over my effects controls here. Uh, first step is to select the thing and uh, enable keyframes, which is just the toggle anim animation button. Um, so we're going to start off at uh, zero scale. The scale is the one we're going to be working with. And you kind of want to go forward maybe five frames and you want to set this up to 110. Now the reason we're going 110 not 100 is because we want it to zoom in and then out and that's the pop effect. It, it, it creates the extra layer of animation and then we kind of want to go maybe three frames and then go back to 100. So you get this nice popping like that uh, and you can see that in a uh, in, of course, my uh, removing background noise video, you can see it when I have the background noise uh, little tab open up there. So once you've done this, you kind of want to find um, where uh, where the 110 keyframe is. So if we go here, this is the 110, and you want to line up the actual pop sound effect with that uh, keyframe. So we can see that it's there, so we're going to drag it back one, uh, so you get this. See, so it's nice, it's clean. I like it. Uh, you can also uh, add on uh, ease in, so you kind of get it uh, to be a lot smoother. Um, sometimes I use this, sometimes I don't. It's just dependent on whether I want to have a smooth transition or quite a rough one in some videos. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Before we finish this video, do you like T-shirts? Well, turns out I make them, like this funky one of a literal RAM disc. If you want to support me and actually get something out of it, consider going and checking out my Redbubble page and grabbing some of my custom designed t-shirts. I'm uploading new content periodically, so go ahead and take a gander. So yeah, that's how to create the pop effect. If you enjoyed this unscripted tutorial, then uh, please go ahead and hit that like button. And if you love my Adobe based content and you want to see more stuff like this, uh, hit that subscribe button. If you want to know more about hotkeys, go and check out my video on hotkeys. If you want to know more about the commonly used bin, which I mentioned, go and check out my video on the commonly used bin. And if you want to know how to remove background noise, which I detail in this video here, go and check out my video on removing background noise. It's all in the little title card thing. Uh, up in the top right corner so go and check those out i hope you're having a great day and i'll see you later